I have a surprise. So we planted a seed, AKA I'm pregnant. So surprise. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We had a baby shower not too long ago and I want to share some of the items that we put on the registry and that we got um, only because I know that when it was time for us to put things on our registry, these kind of informative videos are very helpful in deciding what I needed. There'll be a part two to this to see what we actually really needed. I would try to give as much information as possible. Um, hopefully it's helpful, I like guess it was helpful for me. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing I wanna touch on is diapers, right? Cause obviously that's the most important, one of the most important things you need because babies all they do is eat, sleep and poop. And the diaper brand I went with is Honest, Honest Diapers. Those who've been watching me for a while now know that I'm really big on ingredients, I'm really big on things being natural as much as possible and I'm really against a lot of the chemically filled items and things so the popular brands like the Huggies and the Pampers teach is only if you use it hey great if it works for you and your child wonderful me personally I do not like it <laughs> because it has a lot of chemicals in it and I don't want none of that touching my child um, even down to me personally when I use my menstrual pads I use L, L period or L dot like I try to go as natural as possible, organic cotton or whatever, because all these things cause irritation and causes fibroids, as well with the menstrual pads. But these chemically filled diapers, like, it will cause irritations and all these other nonsense that my child do not need to be introduced to. Um, so we were honest, and I also heard about Cotery, the Cotery diaper brand that I want to try. It is expensive. So we will see. I heard it's really great with blowouts and I'm like fear of that because that's like super gross. Well, the registry I used to was Babylist and I love that registry because you're able to attach Amazon, the Babylist um, shop, um, Target, whatever, bye bye baby, whatever. So I like that because it's very um, convenient and very versatile. So they had a box of diapers. Hold on guys, I'm out of breath. This is part of it. I'm out of breath, okay? Bear with me. Okay, so they had a box, a diaper box, that came with, I guess, the most popular brands that people usually love and get, which is the Cordery Honest brand, the one called Bamboo. So you get the diapers and you get the, um, the wipes. And basically, that diaper set or box is like a tryout. So I think that was pretty good. All right, so those were the diapers, and now, these are the wipes that I got. I got the Honest wipes, and I told you about the diaper box that I got from Babyless, and that included the Honest, the Cordery, and the Bamboo wipes. Um, I personally, for my research, me personally, I use Honest wipes, okay? Um, so I wanted to use, obviously, Honest wipes for my child. I like and I like the Honest wipes because it's minimal ingredients. I'm um, looking at the Cordery wipes, also look like minimal ingredients, and the Bamboo one. Um, I know the f people usually like the Pampers or the Water Wipes, which are cool, but like I said, I like minimal ingredients, right? But once again, we've been blessed. Like our friend got us a nice big box of the Pampers Wipes and family got us the Water Wipes. All of these will be put to use, um, but if you're super health conscious or you know you like, you like minimal ingredients like myself, I would say the Honest Wipes or the Cotery Wipes are the go-to um also millie we use millie i we usually get from target but we use it for ourselves too and that's pretty good um you know kids like to put their hands in their mouth and all that stuff so if you're getting wipes that have a bunch of chemicals your kids are eating that and you don't want that so um yeah so these are the wipes that we got so one that's up for debate that many people have argued whether if you need it or you don't need it is for white white walmart me personally i wanted it because i know that when i go to my gyn and they use cold wipes it's like a shock for me i don't like it i don't like it and i do not like it and i don't like when they have like when they use the gel but the gel is cold uh, shock i don't like it so i said what well, if i don't like cold wipes why do, i don't think my child will like cold wipes either so i'm not gonna do that to them i heard a woman a mother say that the white woman actually woke up his um her daughter instead or made her pee i think that's what it was that's why i hope that doesn't happen 
and granted they say that it dries out the wipes but just add some water be all right so white we got some white warmers okay a white warmer and then i got this um it's like a white bag it's not necessary it's not a necessity but i got it because the wipes as you guys can see it's like it's the full pack is like really big and thick and heavy i don't want to be walking around with a heavy diaper bag that's just too much so i got like a little pouch where you could just put the wipes in separate it and you just take whatever you need for that day so it's not so heavy not carrying around a lot of weight so i got that from one of my amazing co-workers got it for me part of um how gifts to us so that will go in there and then i got i'm out of breath again guys I so. and then i got the um diaper bag i was trying to be bougie and get like a designer bike diaper bag like a tote because some for some reason me and book bags just don't work and a lot of diaper bags are book bags and it just i look like a child like i look childish I look like a clown. I look like somebody's child that is going to school, like eighth grade. Like it doesn't look good, good on me. So I wanted a tote, and I saw this nice, beautiful, um, beautiful Fendi tote, and I wanted to use a diaper bag. God didn't think that was the wisest thing to do with my money. Um, just like the beginning when we first found out that we were, we were pregnant, and God was like, um, I need you to be a good steward of your money. So no, you're not getting it. So every time I was getting from Vestia Collective, every time I'm about to get this bag or find the bag, for some reason something happens where I can't get it. Right, so I just took it as a sign, like it's enough for you, sis. So that's I bet I let it go. So I let my dreams of having either a Louis Vuitton Never Full or a Fendi uh, Monster Bag as my diaper bag, maybe in the future, but right now it's enough for me. One time I was on a website called The Outlet, I love that website, and I found this beautiful, didn't think I was ever gonna do this, but I found this beautiful patent leather DKNY book bag, and also, and it, but it was small and petite, it wasn't like a regular size book bag, the ones that make me look like a clown. And I was just like, oh, this will be so cute as a diaper bag. Initially, I had the um, tote from Marc Jacob on my um, on my registry because it's nylon and, you know, it's easy to clean. But I found that one. I was just like, this is actually really cute. And I put it on. I don't look so much like a child or a clown. So that's the diaper bag that I got. It was cheaper than the one I was actually looking at. It was, um, I think it was on sale for like $70. And diaper bags are expensive, yo. Like yo <laughs> i was looking at them diaper bags like bro what if i'm using something i want to use it for multiple things i don't want to buy a diaper bag and only keep using it for a child and that's that i want to be able to use it for myself too so the dk the one that i just got it can be used past the child being a baby and a toddler like i could use it for myself because it's just that cute so that's the diaper bag that i got well my husband loved giant diaper genie he talks about it, been talking about it. That was like the one of the first thing that he talked about wanting to get um, because he used it for his sisters uh, when they were younger and he just loved how it locks the order out. Um, I had it first on the registry and you know, have to get a special bag for it and all that stuff, but I kept doing my research and reading up on other diaper pails. What made me choose the Ubi over the Diaper Genie is because the Ubi is metal, where the Diaper Genie is plastic. You know, plastic cracks after a while, and sometimes the materials are plastic are made out of. It's not safe for the environment. Did not want that in his room. So I wanted, um, and don't think I'm only became like this because I'm having a baby. I've been like this, okay? Like, it's just, it's just me. So I got, the, got that one because it's metal. And another thing too, another reason I got the Ubi is because it's more cost effective than the Diaper Genie because the Ubi, it doesn't have a special bag that I have to go with it. You can use a regular trash bag um, um, for it and it just still locks it in. And it has a child proof lock so the kid is not able to like open up and dig their hands in your poop. Cause I'm learning that kids do that, like that's so gross. but. That's the thing that they do. So that's one reason why I got the Ubi. The changing table or the changing pad, I guess they call it. I got, um, I saw some that were like cloth. I did not want the cloth because I just kept imagining poop getting on the cloth. And that's extra work that I have to do with cleaning and laundry. So I was just like, no. And my friend Ramona, which by the way, have a YouTube that needs to get it together. But she have a YouTube and she does great home decor she recommended um the one that i have because she said it's really good you could just wipe it off and initially i had like a, a change in cloth that would go on it but i thought about it like if i put the cloth if this thing is wipeable and i put the cloth on top and the baby some of the poop get on the cloth i still have to wash it that's extra work for me i don't want that so she said listen that one is fine so i got that the material is great like 
For instance, like we accidentally just stepped on it and I was able to just wipe it with baby wipes. Easy and it's gone. So that would be so much easier. And it has like this little cute cloud thing that the kids can look at when they're laying down. So it's really, really nice and really durable. Um, it's made out of rubber, really great material. And then I got the bone, the bone soap bathtub. Uh, it grows with the child. There's no specific reason I got it over other brands. Um, I got it because my friend Ramona recommended it. She used it for her kids and she loved it. Wow. It comes with a cushion for the head. Where the head is and where the hump is is rubber, so that's friction to keep the kids from sli um, sliding. So it was really good on, on price. It was about one of my friends, Yamale, got it for us, which was such a great gift, but she got it for us from Amazon. And then another thing that I got that was really, mothers really loved and recommended is a, a diaper caddy. So it's a regular shower caddy you probably use in college. A diaper caddy have sections. Once again from Amazon, one of my good co-workers got it from me. And it has sections. So in the nighttime, when it's time to change him or her or whatever gender of a child that you're having, um, you just put, you know, you could just already set up everything. Your diapers could go in there, your wipes could go in there, your diaper rash cream could go in, whatever you need that your child uses when it comes to the diaper changes, it goes in there. So it's not nighttime, it's two o'clock in the morning that you have to go in the storage or your closet to find diapers that are size two or whatever. It's you pack it on in there, it sits on your dresser or wherever you are doing the changing. You just grab and you go and you do what you have to do. So love that. Also very, really, really good on price. I think it was less than $30. One of our good friends got us a changing, changing pad, like a portable changing um, area. So it opens up. It has pockets. It's really cool. It has pockets so you can put like your wipes, your diapers, your creams, your powders, whatever you use for your child. But then it's on the go. So let's say if you're a grand grandparent's house or you're a friend's house, it's not now you have to... Go find, lay your child on the floor in the bathroom. You just pull out your um, changing portable changing pad. You lay your ch child on top. Everything in needs is already in the pocket. You wipe them down. You wipe her down. Put the diaper on. You're done. And it could be you could be using the park, other people's homes, church, wherever you are. It goes with you. And it has a little a little bit of cushion. So I really like that. Also from Amazon, and it was very cost effective. So those are the changing items that. I, from my research and from listening to other mothers that were very that were a necessity to include in the registry and by the grace of God our friends and families definitely purchased that for us so we thank you for that we got a lot of bibs right because everybody said get a lot of bibs because all they do is just drool 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 and drool some more so we got a lot of bibs um some rubber and some cloth um nothing special um obviously the rubber one the you know the one that you guys will see that catches the food because it has a little opening in the loop um so we got a couple of those and um we got the cloth one that has some type of uh plastic lining under it so it doesn't soak into your shirt so your clothes so we got those um pretty affordable i think we're good for with bibs for, for we're good for no more bibs ever okay so i kept hearing two things some of us were saying you don't need that many swaddles some were saying you need a lot of swaddles um, I guess if you don't mind doing laundry all the time. So I got the baby list swaddle box. There are different types of swaddles to see what your, your child likes. And I got the regular swaddle from Aiden and Anais, I believe it's called, which is the muslin cloth one. Those were pretty nice. We got it from the registry. Somebody blessed us with that. So I, we good off swaddles. Another thing too we got is the burp cloth. We got a lot of burp cloth. Uh, I bought some and people bought some for us um, and because you can use it for multiple things and you could also use some of these swaddles as a burp cloth as well so that was pretty good to know um, and trust me like even if it's a lot we don't plan on going hard and doing a lot <laughs> for the second child so that if we get some good quality it's going to save and we're going to pass it down to the to other children one you're being sustainable two you're saving money and three you're making use of what you got right it doesn't make any sense to get bad quality or cheap things or not get much. And every child you keep re rebuying makes no sense. So, God willing, if you, uh, when he blesses us with another child, all of these things will be used for the other child as well. Okay? I haven't opened it all the way, but from the feel of it, it's nice. 
I would like for it to be softer, but you know, some materials get softer as you wash it, so I'm not going to rate it or judge it yet, um, but it seems like a lot of people love it, so it must be good. Another item that we got is um, Daka Tot and our friend um, Ariana and Joseph, two beautiful mar married couples, bless us with that. Um, it is basically like a mini bed, I guess. To lay the kid in during the day um you could put the kid in that in your bed so it's not a safety hazard you know because it comes with a, it has a little hump so it protects your child like let's say in your living room and you're, you're you're doing work or whatever you just sit the baby in that and the baby's right next to you so love that gift from them that was really really dope of them to get that for us and then we got the i got the it's like a breastfeeding pillow right because when you're when that's the plan right when you're breastfeeding without it you're just gonna be humped over or hunched over and your back will end up hurting you so the pillow kind of supports your back and supports you you lay the child on it and it, it's a good support system so you're not out of um alignment you know so we got that um we when so we got that we didn't buy it by me and like friends and family blessed us with it um one thing that we don't have a lot of <laughs> i just put one on the registry but one thing we don't have a lot of is pacifiers because i i was talking to my husband i was just like why do we use pacifiers because growing up in ghana i don't remember seeing that many kids with pacifiers granted i sucked my fingers when i was growing up but pacifiers is not a was not a thing i don't know how it is now but it was not a thing so it made me it made me question like do kids really need pacifier or is this a thing that is part of the culture that we give kids because it's just what we do and i'm just like, all right but I'm, we're not going to get that many uh i need another pack and i think we'll be good yeah and it, uh, we got a one of my co-workers got me a case to put it in there because you no know, monkey pox covid all these things polio all these things are a thing and i just don't want pacifier hanging out in my bag freely or whatever so we got a little um cute little um it's like a little container to put the pacifier in. And then another thing that I put in the registry that somebody blessed us with is a milk catcher from the Haka brand. I heard, a, I heard a lot of it through my research. It seems a lot of mothers love it. So it's like while you're feeding the child with one boob, the other boob starts to leak but it has a catcher so because they call it liquid gold i see you know i get it and so while one is feeding another the other one is leaking because you know all the nerves and everything is connected you put the milk catcher on so you catch the other milk so nothing's ever wasted so we got that it's just we got two and the breast pump that i decided to go with and ugh, it's such a big research between breast pumps but the breast pump i decided to go with is the the spectrum initially I was going to go with the medulla because that's the famous one I keep hearing everybody about everybody talk about they talk about the spectrum too but my friend was telling me she liked the spectrum way better the, the medulla the spectrum the old hospital hospital grade so um we got the spectrum and we didn't pay for it okay because insurance paid for it because it's part of food so it is your job to pay for that so if you don't know and if you have insurance, your insurance could pay for your um, breast pump so you don't have to come out of pocket because it, it, it's up in the hundreds. So look into it if um, you have insurance. They pay for that. And some insurance also pay for lactation consultation. So if you don't know, call your insurance, find out if they cover it. Like my insurance covered lactation consult consultation. So let them pay for that. Don't come out of pocket for that one. So I wanted the silicone baby bottle. I didn't want anything. I mean, so I didn't want just the straight plastic that we are used to seeing, like the Philips, no shade to Philips. But it's just, once again, I don't, the materials, some of these things are made out of. I, I know a lot of it says it's BPA free, which is great. I just, I went with the silicone, okay? Um, Because I'm just in it like that, all right? <laughs> so I got the Como, and I keep seeing, I see a lot of mothers using that brand. And I read, um, I read about it, it seems that they love it, so... Uh, Cause I think the nipple is like resemblance of a, um, a breast. So I got the Como. One of my coworkers got that from me. Shout out to Kana. Um, <laughs> and then I got the Nano BB um, breast breast um, baby bottle set. Our friend Adia got it for us. Shout out to Adia. He was so excited to get it for us. So. Uh, and I like the shape of it. It's kind of shaped like a boob. It's, it's really cool. So we got that and hopefully our baby likes it because you know You get all these things 
and it's still maybe like you know get that thing out my mouth like what don't nobody want that okay so hopefully he likes it boom it's a he surprise <laughs> gender reveal <laughs> now to get into the bath items i was expecting me to go crazy with this stuff but i didn't shockingly so i stuck with two basic brands shea moisture and walita i got a shea moisture hair and body wash and the lotion and the walita, walita lotion the shea moisture lotion i think it was like chamomile i didn't want anything with coconut because i know for me coconut dries out my skin and my hair i know some people have a lot of issues with coconut um so i didn't want anything with coconut oil on it because i'm not i don't want i'm not sure if he's going to like it or if it's going to affect him so i stayed away from coconut um I got stuff that were common, like some things that had oat in it or things that had chamomile in it because it's very common. Nothing strongly scented because obviously your skin are so sensitive. You don't want to get heavily perfumed items on, put heavily perfumed items on your child. So for those who like to get the Johnson's and Johnson's baby stuff, it smells amazing, but there's a lot of chemicals. Remember the last videos when I said a lot of these perfumes and scent, good scents and smell goods is nothing but chemicals? Yeah, I'd rather go the natural route. You know what I mean? Yeah, so... And I got Burst Bees. I forgot. I got Burst Bees. I got the Burst Bees ointment. It's all of a all-purpose ointment. So we can use for diaper rash. You can use it for lotion or, you know, skin cream or whatever. We got a lot of towels. <laughs> we got, like, my mother got me some hooded towels. And then we got some hooded towels from friends and family at the shower. Uh, we got a lot of washcloths. By the way... Yo, go to Marshalls. You would get some nice baby stuff for a good price. Like Marshalls really have some like six dollars, nine dollars. They had a lot of Carter's um body wash stuff and towels and washcloth for like six, four, five dollars. Okay, so don't sleep on Marshalls. You can go get some over there. Um, so we got that, and I got the cutest robe because I just couldn't help myself. My sister-in-law was like, really. But it was, it's the cutest. I don't care. Like, he's going to wear it. I mean, come on. He's probably going to wear this for a day. But still, he's going to wear it. I'm going to take pictures because I said what I said. And it comes with a little, I mean, come on. I'm going to wear my robe and then we're going to get to match. And I'm going to see if I can get my husband to wear a robe. A robe. Because, you know, like he's probably not going to wear it. Okay. But anyways, this was like, for instance, this is from Hudson Baby. Hudson is known for making baby clothes. Ain't no... It's not always the cheapest, but $13. I mean, come on. All right? And we're going to... And it's so soft. I love it. Anyway, so, yeah. So, I got this bathrobe, and then a family member, I think, yeah, got us um, a nice, nice fuzzy blanket. Um, and then, speaking of blankets, our grandmother gave us a beautiful blanket, like beautiful handmade blanket. It's so gorgeous. Like, ah, uh, it's one of my favorite gifts from um that we have, we have received. Beautiful blanket. He has his name on it. I mean, look at this blanket. Like, the intricacy on it is just <sighs> bananas. Like, the fact that people that this talent still exists is amazing. Cause this day and age with TikTok, where everybody doing the same dances. And recycling talent <laughs> it's good to see somebody with original talent okay no shade you know and we got another blanket and there was another blanket that i want to get from um i think crate and barrel it had like zebras on it, it was so gorgeous but after i got this i'm just like oh, i'm good without it okay another thing another blanket that we got is from a fan member it got this nice fuzzy blanket similar to the texture of the robe really really fuzzy let, let me tell you me as an adult when it comes to winter time i love this kind of blankets they're so cuddly and fuzzy and warm so we are very thankful for that and everybody was telling us to get the i didn't want to get the nail clipper guys you know the one that like how adults have nail clippers because i'm just afraid that my clip is skin or whatever i'm just okay i'm just i might cry so i didn't want to get that but i got the the file one like the electronic one that um, it just files it down, so I was just like, that one's a little, it feels a little more safer for me to use on his, his little tiny fingers, so we got that as well, and so yeah, that's like all the bath um, um, stuff that we have, um, yeah, so this baby got a lot of clothes, like if I was to sit here and go through every piece of clothing item that he, um, he has, 
we'll be sitting here till Jesus come back for the second time. And we're not doing that. So, I took a couple of pieces to show you what we have. So, a lot of people are talking about getting a lot of onesies. So, we got a lot of onesies. We got Gerber onesies. These feels good. We didn't get a lot of newborn because they don't stay newborn for that long. So, I got a lot of 3 to 6 and 6 to 12. Um, and just a few newborns. What is this? Just a 6 to 9. So, this feels really, really good. It's, it's cotton. Nothing special. It's not organic cotton or anything. Preferably, that's what I would like. But cotton is fine. It's 100% cotton. That's all that matters. When I tell you we got onesies for days, these are all short. Let me see if I can show one. <laughs> like, come on. Like, this is so cute. So, this is three, this is three months, right? And that's what the biggest advice I was getting from a lot of mothers. Get a lot of onesies. Get a lot of onesies because they're going to stay in onesies. We got a lot. Found some on sale. Marshalls. We got some on Old Navy.com. Target. Name it. Everywhere I could find onesies, I was just picking it up. So I know a lot of mothers talk about not getting the button ones. Because when they're sleeping and you snap, it wakes them up. But this is before I knew that information I had already purchased this so this is going to be like one he wears during the day when he's awake so we got these these are from the gap this is from the gap All right this is nice and fuzzy this is great for the winter gap and then we got some zippers this is when I learned got the information I said oh it's bet say less so I love this one because the zipper is on top and it's also at the bottom so if he's sleeping or she's sleeping and you don't want to wake him up you can zip from the bottom do your change zip it back down right so this was also great where is this from this is, says $28 I didn't pay $28 for it oh this is from Marshalls yeah um, this says zero to three months another set this one's a nice set two-piece set from Marshalls as well $12 and not bad at all also have the zipper okay zips at the top zips at the bottom easy you don't wake them up when you're sleeping this is also how many months three months it's a lot of three months this is birth bees i did not know birds bees made baby clothes this one is organic cotton I'm trying to see if i can feel the difference i can see feel a little bit of difference this one a little bit softer this is a sleep, sleep and play one um this is also this is three to six months uh, once again original price i think was say 28 dollars and seven dollars for organic organic cotton because sometimes that can run you a bit of coins so marshall's i'm telling you don't sleep for baby clothes i got this cute one so okay so the reason i got this is because it's easy i heard that when they're sleeping and once it, let's say you don't want to fuss with the zippers you don't want to fuss with the buttons it's like a dress all you guys just roll it up chain diapers Roll it back down, tie it. Goes for both girls and boys. And I was like, oh, this is genius, right? You don't wake them up, you don't bother them, you don't, they don't fuss, no, none of that. It's just done. That's it. You're done. So this is like, like a little sleep, sleeping nightgown. I got this three-piece one, and this is zero to six months. So it'll go for a very long time because obviously this is long. Same thing. It's like looking nightgown. So change diapers. Roll it up, change the diapers, roll it down. You don't bother them, you don't wake them up. Everybody's happy. So I've got that, got another pack. Um, this was in, um, it was originally, I think, 20 something dollars from Target. It was on sale for $14. So I definitely got two packs because I think it was a, that was a really good deal. Um, another place too, Target have great sales on baby stuff all the time. Um, so yeah, look at these. This is cute. $14. Last you for six months, why not? Okay, got that. Um, oh, and also, did not even notice, just saw the tag. It is also organic cotton. If you are, you know, material conscious and health conscious, is organic cotton. And this is once again, prior to me knowing about the buttons, <laughs> but this is cute. It will be when he's playing. And my friend Edna bought me this one. I don't, I don't have the bottom piece. It's probably still in his um, dresser. This is so cute. Born 2022. Okay. So, this one is 
six months. This doesn't even look like a six month baby. It's so tiny. But yes, and it comes to the bottom. Super cute. Thanks, Edna. I know he's not gonna go out that much because it's gonna be cold, but still, like, if he goes out, he's going to be cute because why not? Our friend Ariana and Joseph bought us this. So cute. Bought us this nice um, two piece jumpsuit or two piece set, I should say. And I love this freaking color. Like, nice Kanye color. It's so cute. And this little, a little bear in the little corner from um, the Gap. I'm telling you, the Gap, maybe have some cute stuff, all right? And they have good sales. Like, my mother is, my mother be calling me, hey, um, mate, Old Navy, you know, because Old Navy, the Gap, all that, they're, they're all Banana Bad Republic. They're all the same company. She be calling me, like, um, they doing a sale. Go get some baby stuff. I'm like, well, there's no more space for baby stuff. Like, we are done. Okay, but they got us this. It's really, oh, it's gonna look so nice against this black skin. Let's go. So we got that. And then, Another company that make really cute baby clothes. Sometimes it can be a little pricey, but they're so cute. And this is not even all of it. Like I said, there's a lot in his dress up. I just took out some. It's Zara, okay? Look at this cute two-piece set. I mean. And I know he's not gonna be in this for long. I know. It's okay though. It makes me happy, okay? Look at this. I'm gonna put this on top. I mean, ugh. I can't. And it was on sale for it was thirty. I'm saying this one little thing is thirty dollars. So I'm saying Zara could be a little expensive, but when they have their sales, that's when I went ham. Another thing that I do personally for me and my family, and my mother taught me this, I buy out of season. So I buy for winter in the summer, and I buy for summer in the winter. You save money because all this stuff goes on sale. And I, I brought the same mentality to my child and I told my friend to do the same we bought his winter clothes when Sarah just had their winter their sale the summer sale but all when they trying to get rid of all the winter stuff so come December when they're getting rid of um, a lot of their summer stuff is when I'll buy his summer clothes trust me you save so much money because you buying stuff in season is so expensive right this was 30 but got it on sale for 18 did my one of my co-workers got it for me as a gift for the baby so thank you Zena and the bottom piece too was also 18 okay so imagine 30 plus 30 it would have been $60 and no for them to sit just being this for a couple of times that's just ridiculous i'm not doing that another one this one was cute i was trying to return this because i didn't realize it was this light but it's still so cute he's gonna wear it with, oh, he's gonna wear it with his onesie remember that like the little gerbil one that'd be so cute okay and i think this one was like 12 dollars. this is cute i can't and then this is another one i just cannot resist originally 32 dollars 90 and i think i got it for 15 dollars i mean come on and then look at these he's gonna be so cute guys look with his, his little footsie ten dollars okay and i think after even after i bought this it went down to seven dollars i believe i was kind of mad but i was just like it's all right i saved money did you pass out yet because i mean i did like this is the cutest i was just like you know what? I got a jacket like this too, but I got it from Anthropology. But this is the cutest. <gasps> I cannot. Okay? I cannot. These baby stuff are so cute. They would, they would definitely have you spend your money. It is $32.90. I think I end up getting it for, I think it was $15 during the sale. Like, this is the cutest. And it says 12 to 18 months. He's going to be one year old. And he's going to be past one. Okay? So, that's what I'm saying. You might think that, oh, my baby did not reach there yet, so I don't need to get it. Next year, come. I don't have to buy a jacket. To him. I have, I have this. I have another jacket, and he also got a snow, a snowsuit. You gotta think about the future, okay? Because I'm not trying to pay a full price for any of these things. Because these kids grow quick. So that's the trick. This is not for this year. This is for next year. Another one. Huge. This is 18 months. Obviously, he can't wear it now, but he can wear it when he turns 18. And on, ongoing. And this was cheap. I think this was what? I think I got this for ten dollars from the get when it was. It was like doing a sale and it was like on tail sale on top of the sale. Originally, it doesn't even say. But originally, I think it was like fifty dollars or something like that. I can't believe I got it for freaking, freaking. I think it was like ten dollars. It was great, like, and it feels so good. I mean, come on, guys. This is and it has a little bunny. I can't. This little kid's gonna be fly. I'm just mad, just fly. Cute little beanies. Um, 
this is three to six months perfect for the winter and this was not uh, all three was up to coming up to like fifteen dollars i believe at h&m um it was on sale as well month. like i said everything i got was on sale i didn't pay full price for anything and we got the mittens somebody blessed us with this for the shower and i am a strong believer in not getting babies shoes when they're babies because your babies <laughs> and these brands like jordans and whatnot will still charge you money for shoes this big and i'm like you know dang on well not taking that much material to make this sneakers why are you charging me 30 40 dollars absolutely not so my child is going to be in a lot of socks so i got a lot of socks okay i'm not going to show you all of it because it's just we going i'm not trying to be here forever but old navy we got like two or three packs of these we got some from the gap we have a lot of socks and it comes with a grip. He's going to be in socks, okay? Winter time, the house get a little cold, he's going to be in socks. After I got him some sneakers, he got Nike, all right? <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever, like, and this just goes up to six months. I, I cannot believe, they look like doll shoes. I cannot believe humans actually wear this. This is just crazy to me. But this is the cutest thing ever. I got from Marshalls for $6. Like, when I saw it, I couldn't resist. And I don't know if y'all know, or been to Marshalls, but I'm sure it's Marshalls in every every state. The lines are so dang on long. I saw a line just to get this little thing because it's just too cute. I couldn't pass by. I did buy the little booties, though. Because I'm thinking my doctor's appointment to know what not in the winter. Granted, he can't be in just socks alone. So I got these cute booties. Like, this was $7. Like, <sighs> it's so cute. I don't even know what size this is. He gonna work, all right? So those are the clothes that we got for little man. <sighs> I can't. All right, so now let's move into the kitchen, all right? Um, there's a couple of gadgets that we got. I was trying not to get a lot because I cannot. We already have a lot going on. We have the... The Vitamix, we got a blender, we got a, a rice cooker, we have coffee stuff. It's just I wasn't trying to add too many more gadgets. And I still want to air fry it, but I don't even know if we're getting it anymore. But this is, I tried to minimize as much, well, we tried to minimize as much as possible. So we got the Baby Brezza. My friend Ramona once again recommended it. She said she loved it. Um, we got the um, bottle warmer. One, because we don't use microwave in our home. Um, so... I can't even imagine late late nights and early mornings having to warm up water to warm up food. It's just, no. So we got the bottle warmer from Baby Brezza. We also got the sterilizer from Baby Brezza, especially this day and age with all these diseases approaching and we emerging from the crack of hell. I don't know. Okay. So I'm just like, we got a sterilizer, bottle sterilizer from Baby Brezza as well. Once again, friends and family blessed us with this from the registry so we thank you for that um and then we got this other one called baba i just saw it on my friends my other friends registry i was like mm, what is that did my research on it and it's like a baby food maker it warms up the food i think um it makes the food it's a couple of things that it does i'm like oh for somebody that for people who don't have a microwave that, that would be very good so let's say if i was to blend my own it blends i think it makes the food as well apart from just you know um warming it up i said yeah let's get that somebody my friend Brittany, shout out to Brittany ray bless us with that um so that was clutch and then um we were also blessed with the the what's it called the boom lawn i think so that's when you wash the baby bottles and all that stuff just sit on it's like a dryer a dish dryer and it just dries all your stuff there and then we were blessed with like a placemat for the baby and the little tape um plate for the baby to eat from so those were the things that we got but the gadgets we try to keep as minimal as possible i know my husband still was like three that's like right. your council is gonna be crowded i said but we don't have a microwave and i'm not doing that whole <laughs> warming up in the stove at night I, no so um but we are going to get rid of some stands in our kitchen that we don't really use often like the tabletop oven that we don't use so it can make space for these things so you know give or take so that's what we got for that and now we are talking about toys now when it comes to toys um, I, I didn't know we got a lot of books a lot of books um uh regular 
children uh, with all children's book obviously but regular books like bath time books or you know um, mommy books daddy books christian books because you know but the one that we got was kind of like for older kids we didn't realize but it's cool he's going to see it when he get older because i mean why not we believe it so why not um Tony Evans got some really good books. So if you don't know him, he's a great teacher. He's a great preacher. Preacher, check him out. He have children's books and it's amazing. Um, I read some of them. I'm just like, oh, I want this. I want this for myself because I was learning things from the little children's book. Okay, we got this little cute piano. It's so cute and this little nice giraffe. We use it for the baby shower, but his room, you guys will see, has a theme and it goes with it. Um, and my husband added some of his old. Um, children's books when he was growing up listen i'm from ghana and the children's story that i know was announcing story okay so if i could find some books on announcing the spider i would add that too but um it's a lot of books there's a lot a lot of books we have some readers over here most of my husband did myself because i just when i get into what i get into it but when i stop it takes me a while for me to get back but when i'm in it i go for months okay now I stop but so yeah, so we didn't initially get a lot of toys because I know that kids get a lot of toys for family members. So we are just going to get the ones that we want from him, him. And we want a lot of his toys to be educational, not just mindless things, you know. Uh, we want to get things that um, that is intriguing or stimulates his brain to do something, okay, <laughs> to think. Um, so we are going to get that gradually. There's no need to like rush and get it. Um, so that's that for toys. All right, now we are in the bedroom um, in the house house for real. <laughs> um, some things we have is I got the camera. My friend Ramona again recommended this camera for me to me. Um, it's from Amazon. You can use it for your home. You can use it for your baby. You can just use it all together for many different things. It's not just a baby monitor. And it was really good on price. I think it was twenty five dollars. I was just like. Phew. Yeah, let me get that. Because the other ones were like in the hundreds. So this one's $25. We got a humi humidifier that my friend um, Melissa got for us. Thank you, Mel. Um, it has, it's a humidifier. It's a nightlight. It's a diffuser. Multiple things in one, which is great because even after baby, we can use it. Um, remember I said earlier, if it, does, if it could do multiple things, it's what I like. And then we got the hatch nightlight from my friend Amaris. Hey, mama. <laughs> so she got it for us. It's a sound machine. It's a um, nightlight. And it does this. It's not a long clock, but it's kind of the light will come on when it's time to rise or the time for the baby to wake up. So it does multiple things because, you know, when I'm changing in the nighttime, it's not, I don't want to turn on the whole light to really wake the baby up. So something like that, if I could just tap it to give a little bit of dim light to, so I could see what I'm doing, that would be wonderful. So that's what the hatch is. And a lot of mothers rave about it and it was recommended across the board. So we got that. I got some nice curtains you guys will see from um, Crane Barrel. It's a muslin curtain. Really cute for a baby's room. Cream Barrel is having a great sale right now, by the way, and also West Elm with baby stuff and just in general. Um, always check the sales section because you find some gems, okay? I got the mat, the sheet from also West Elm. It was on sale. It was on my registry and I saw that it was on sale. I'm like, dang, I don't want people to spend, miss out on the sale and spend full price on it. So I just got it myself and it was a really good price. I think it was like for two, it was like $30 or something like that. So we got that. And then we got the Baby Bjorn. German. Before I used to say baby be joined, but it's baby be yarn um bouncer. We were going between the four moms and the baby be yarn. Why we chose baby be yarn? I heard a lot of great things about four moms, and I heard a lot of horrible things about four moms. Some mother said my child hated it, some mother said my child loved it. Um, but it was too many mothers saying my child hated it, and it was like for that much money, I don't want to take the risk of my child disliking the item. And then it doesn't, it's that thing, it lasts for six months. It, the kids don't get to be in there for that long. Where the baby being on, I think, lasts a little longer. It's a little bit cheaper. Well, no, actually, I think it's around the same price, but it's a little bouncer. And But there were more reviews of mothers saying their kids love it and they love it than the four moms. So that's why we chose the, the when I talk about the four moms, I'm talking about the four moms mama room. But that's why we chose the baby beyond um, bouncer. And we got the jersey cotton instead of the mesh and the other materials they had. Um, because I think the material was better and safer. 
but they're all good. But the material is better, so I chose we chose that one. And, and then we got a curtain rod from Macy's, a nice cute gold curtain rod, and it goes with the theme of the room, and it would just all come together for everything. So yeah, you guys will see when we are done with the room because it's a, we we gonna be doing this for a while. So y'all wanna see the whole process. In addition to all the kitchen gadgets and food stuff. Uh, we have the high chair, which is by Lalo. Initially, I was going to get a different brand called Stokey, I think it's called, and it grows the baby. Once again, I need stuff to grow with the child. You hear that? Mad New York, right? And in New York, if you only hear some sirens, all right? But anyways, enjoy the sound. So, lullabies. So, it's called Lalo. Um, it grows the child. And the reason why I took the Stokey off and put this one on is because this one actually turns into a regular chair that the kid could use at their little kid table. So I thought that was pretty, pretty dope. One good thing about the Stokey one is it goes up to like 100 and something pounds, like adults could sit in it. But we didn't really need that. We didn't really need that, so I... It's beautiful, right? So we didn't really need that, need that so we got the Lala one instead because like I said, we would have to buy him his own chair anyway, and this turns into that, so why not? Um, so that's what we got, and our great friends, um, Matt and Eunice, got it for us, so thank you guys for getting that. So that was that. That's all for the kitchen and cooking and food-related things. Now, let's move on to the gears, like the gadgets, right, the car stuff. So we got the car seat. We got the Luna car seat. Originally, I was going to do the upper baby but I was doing research on fire retarded free items and one of the brands that came up that didn't have that didn't have um that was that was fire retarded free was Nuna. All the other brands their stuff wasn't cute. I'm sorry. At least be cute, you know. But Nuna was and I was so happy that Nuna was part of it because they actually have cute stuff and their materials are a little bit safer. Um we thought about getting the Duna. I was going to get the Duna because everybody loves it. Those who have babies to those who don't even have babies. Um, but once again, bagel materials <laughs> and ingredients. And that's just my thing. And I'm very anal about stuff like that. Um, so we went with the Nuna. Okay, so we got the Nuna car seat. Um, with the, we got it from Pottery Barn because they had this broken arrow design. It was really cute. But it is really cute. And we got the Nuna stroller, right? For the same reason the materials but it's flame retardant free and i just it helps me sleep better at night okay the other brands the bugaboos the donut they don't they don't it's not that safe for me okay it's i just no so um the reason why i didn't get the double stroller one for i got the tavel next over the other nuna is because the double stroller one i don't like where the child was sit the second baby was sit you know um it's like at the bottom so close to the ground i, I don't like it like I don't like it, so no. So that's why we got the single stroller. And when God blesses us again with another another child, we'll figure that out when we get there. Probably go with the upper baby, like I said. But that's why we got the new Nuna stroller. We got the Nuna car seat. Um, we got the Erga baby carrier. Um, I got the black one, so it's universal. I could wear it. My husband could wear it because originally I wanted this nice mint and green color. He was like, No, we're not doing that. I want one for man. So I got a black one for both of us. Boring, but fine. Okay, and then I got this cute, um, you know the little snuggly wraps one. By the way, which Africans were doing for many years. And I remember as a kid, we used to get laughed at like, oh, y'all carry your kids on your back. Da, da, da. But now they call it wraps. And they do it. And they charge 60, 70 dollars for it. When people is using regular, uh, Ankara and Kaba and, and regular um, cloth to wrap their babies. Don't be surprised if you see me with my baby wrapped in African cloth walking around my house because that's how it used to be done. But I digress. And then we got like a car seat cover because once again, you know, cold season coming. We can also use it as a cover when you're breastfeeding so it's versatile. Once again, I'm big on everything being versatile and having multiple uses because who got space and money to waste it. Right, so those are the things that we have and I think we, we are pretty good we got most of what we need um it's a couple of things we need to get like a bookshelf and like, like I said one more pack of pacifier and just other little things but we are good we are blessed uh thank 
all our friends and family for all the blessings and the gifts that they gave us with the fact that parcels are still coming in is just like wow you guys are amazing so thank you guys thank god and uh yeah i hope this video is helpful in terms of what to get um and months from now i will come back and let y'all know if some of these things up were worth it okay so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe enjoy your day enjoy your week enjoy your weekend depending on when you're watching it and yeah